So yeah, Tarn tar folk, if you all can slot up on N4. I always for me. Uh, like to Sorry bring up that. that I used to ground command for Loot No Nine way back when in 2016. So let's see if I still got it, but it's gonna be at a much more milsimy pace because we're gonna be using acre radios and I've had to make uh, oh, plans, alrighty. battle so, plans I know will fall apart in the first 10 seconds of contact. See, I've had to make uh, air plans because I've got aircraft going with we're me. Gonna keep this at a and uh, 60 seconds. Here we Carpenter. go, 89 guys. Let's see, we have how many people are in the uh, TeamSpeak channel? We have 91, so two guys are still What's gonna up? come in later, but we're well, still gonna be at like 90 plus, go? so. Charlie, two. We're gonna have 39 Charlie, versus 45, but those 45 are need going to be yep, you'll need to quit this, quit out in the map team, the server, sure. actually in Fucking the uh, BTR. Mr. Ann, you're gonna need to condense down to Delta three by the looks of it. So even then, Independent okay. will still have a pretty nice number advantage. 48 to 38, never mind. Independent has correct? a massive numbers advantage. But, you know, they do have the 20%. Yeah, that'll do her. All right, thank you. Uh, I need commanders, do I not? Sorry, uh, just a reminder, Anderson. Oh, I'm not getting no, you back into anything. You, you uh, commanders, as long as they have more than one in the team. Just checking. We didn't really <laughs> leap hard on good terms. If anything, oh, he kind right. of abandoned 80% of his player base clock, back in the day, so I'm not really ready to Heard. get him any favors. I did blue on blue him in a rant. Like, the only time I played um, squad, not we squad, the squad um, the World War II no, version don't. of squad. God, what is it called? I forget. I played that for a few uh, hours just to try it out. I ended up with uh, Loot No 9 was on the server on All my team, and I accidentally right. shot him in the Let's head. And then people me. were like, oh my god, you killed Loot. And I'm like, did I? Oh, nice. Postscript him. That's it. Yeah. You can hear and about we had literally video. a five-minute conversation, and... It's one of those where you kind of say, yeah, we'll go do something, you know, blah, 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 and then nothing Someone happens, because I don't think he likes me. The, uh, now. Because I did Quick, kind of, um, in his point of view, I technically saw his players, even though he abandoned all this, but again, that's that's a story from years ago. I just hope he does well as a YouTuber, and I, you know, hope he wishes the same for me, and that's that. <laughs> Quick, assemble the dwarves. I try not to talk I'm shit about anyone. Oh my Damn. god, that oh my god. microphone, oh, Jesus. You're eating your mic, man. I'm so glad my headset has no cancellation. Ow! Oh. Alright, we're gonna get out of this channel. Alright, so here's the deal. Uh, we have a sector defense, but the first sector is highlighted. So what this means, guys, is that independence have to take Sector 1 first, then Sector 2, then Sector 3, because the sectors only go active when they're taken. Also, look at this AO. It is literally within a click. So this might be only a 30-minute match, uh, but, I mean, if they can get the Mat Gunners uh, for Blue 4 on a good flank here, that wouldn't be too bad. But yeah, this is a crazy crazy AO here. It's very small for 90 players in here. I don't know. I mean, Green 4 can sneak some guys in the town over here and follow this trail uh, on that SSR or they can uh, go uh, through these little forested bits. Uh, and we can also hope, you know, these uh, slightly tannish patches, they might uh, have some cornfields and stuff that Independent can hide in, but Blue 4 is Gonna have the manpower to kind of lock down Sector and 1. second round starts now. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry. I jumped down here because they were getting crazy with their audio, but this AO is super small, right, Barbarian? Um, I mean, it could be smaller. I've, we've seen smaller in FNF, but it is... That's not big. It's, um, let's see, about 4 by 2 across, roughly. So... I know you know a lot about small things. It's okay. But look at Blue 4. They've also got G36s. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, Germans? Yeah, I mean, they they got, were given the German guns. They're still uh, rocking the U.S. Uh, Marpat stuff, but... Yeah, Marpat wounded. Why is Acid Pantalones wounded? I think they spawn in that way, but their damage is literally turned off in the beginning, so there's no way for them to uh, get killed. I'm actually looking. Nafs is immediately dropping... Uh... He dropped his uh, compass, uh, no, excuse me, uh, map uh, map tools. Just right off the bat, dropping what he doesn't need, because uh, 
<laughs> Hardcore PvP, I man. I don't, I don't need this. And uh, my chat was talking about random fields with uh, open corn and stuff, but I'm looking at uh, a bunch of uh, wheat fields that are pretty much trimmed uh, to where not even crawling up prone would conceal them. So, yeah, and I know a lot of open lot kill zones trimming, here. Uh, trimming fields, but um, well, my waifu is wheat, wheat goddess, so it's okay. Anyway, all right. Independent has a lot of foresty areas to move up. They can uh, really utilize that to get up to sector one. And then the uh, slight bit of concealment along these, uh, I don't even know what to really call them. They're not riverbeds, but just, you know, breaks in the fields. Uh, they can also use these to get up to at least uh, the town by sector three and come around on the rear. But so they do have to take the sectors in order. Uh, that was one of yes, the things that's was, because um, if you notice, sector one is highlighted. Six. So yeah, sector one, then two, then three. And I'm also seeing a random construction building added uh, to the map. It's between sector two and three. Mm, yeah. uh, and then look at oh, sector geez. three plus like, is that actually how it's supposed to be? It looks like that is on the map how it is. So that's... Look at that little urban cluster fuck right there, like, jeez. I think he added to this, especially with, like, the plank and stuff, but... Um, I mean, it's it's highlighted on the map, though, so... Did he? If it's on the map, then I don't think so, but... Like, because if I go back to the construction site... Uh, the construction site isn't there, but those buildings are there in that order, so I think this is... Like, legit. Hmm. Yeah, you got Roche back in the mod set. Yeah, well, I mean, for TSB, we at least always try to make sure we rotate things. But I mean, that's that's sector three. Looking at sector two, it's also pretty nice looking. I mean, a lot of buildings, a lot of places to hide. It's got some decent perimeter set up. Yeah, uh, and the second quarters. story in these buildings is really, really good. And then sector one is the urban one. Uh, it's kind of a little weaker on the urban front, but that's to be expected for the first sector. So it's just a lot of open areas to hide from but i'm definitely liking uh sectors two and three here but anyway looking at blue four uh we've got a full platoon hq we've got alpha full and uh bravo full actually can you take over i gotta uh, give a chat shout out nope sure um so yeah uh, nappy thanks see. for giving out two subs and they went deltas. to chips and uh, buzz uh Pure Paradise with a job. So do you have a mat I hope I said that right. That but thank you so much. I hope you're all staying safe um, from COVID-19. Hope you're enjoying the ops. Hope you're enjoying both the Zeusing and the PvP so shouting, have, uh, shoutcasting. And uh, again, thank you. It means a lot. And, uh, means I'm with doing infantry, something right in the world. Ah. But um, otherwise... So, um... Blue 4... They were supposed to get two Jeeps with uh, 249s, right? Uh, no, that was Green 4. Green 4 oh. has all the vehicles. So what was Blue 4 supposed to get? Nothing. Nothing? Oh, I thought Blue 4 got the Jeeps. Stand by, I need to change my mission command then. Okay. I'm glad you can uh, actually realize that you touch something for once. Anyway, uh, but a concern with Green 4 now is they don't have the seats to really get around. They only have the, the two jeeps, which hold three people each, and then the BTR, which carries like he just dissed me, like, didn't he? Eleven, twelve people on top, plus inside another six or so. So it could probably fit two squads, but they got more than that here tonight. Yeah, um, we might see the BTR ferry people, uh, or I mean, this could just mean uh, Green <laughs> Four takes people through the forested areas and just comes over the obvious vector. Maybe a side team will come in. Uh, if you notice a uh, little bit of a uh, forested path that goes through the uh, southern part that ends up kind of uh, south of uh, Sector 1 right on the MSR, uh, that yeah, could also yeah, be followed yeah. up. A lot of concealment seen on this path, but not really cover. So I'll be curious to see where Blue 4 puts defensive lines. But the real yeah, risk is if Blue 4 gets caught out of position, there's no way for them to retreat back to Sector 3 quickly enough. So... No, especially without any vehicles, that's a good... 400? 
it's it's a jog uh and if they were just in firefights or they're wounded it's gonna be that much harder to you know get the stamina to go up there uh but mm -hmm. there is a good bit of forest between two and three that they can at least maneuver quickly i'm betting blue four is going to put some dudes up in this construction building for at least some good overwatch but there's also plenty of angles especially on the forested vectors where they're not going to see shit. in terms of where blue four is going to put their mat gun I honestly have no idea. I would say maybe on top of the blue building to watch this massive, uh, you know, watch down this MSR, but uh, honestly, I, I can't see where they're going to put that Matt guy at all. Yeah, I would think some kind of uh, bunkered or entrenched position because they still are able to uh, build those Black Spike. big old Hesco barriers and trenches and whatnot. Yeah, but, so we... um, they're going to need to get eyes on that quick. So we did have a little desync uh, de spike there, but it quickly fixed itself de under uh, in a second. Uh, but yeah, um, Blue 4 has full squads, uh, and then a team for Charlie, and then the Matt Gun team. Op 4, meanwhile, uh, has infantry between all three teams, and then multiple uh, Delta teams. Uh, they've got Delta 1, which is in the two Jeeps, uh, which is interesting because they're a machine gun team, so I don't know why they take that, um, I guess for more fire support and maybe maneuverability. Uh, they've got another MG team. They also have a MAT team, which I don't understand why they would take a MAT team. Yeah, me neither, honestly. Because uh, they literally have no vehicles. The Titan, I don't believe it can lock on to uh, infantry. It can, yes, yes. It's a Javelin model, okay. so it can lock on to anything with a thermal uh, signature. And they also got the assistant which means they have an extra missile. I can understand wanting to use the thermal camera to recon, but Roche is a pretty flat map that's really hard to find um, angles of attack. So I think they were just taking a risk of maybe they'll be able to find a proper angle to get in, but with how urban and foresty this map is in certain parts, uh, it just didn't pay off for them. And honestly, I think that's just uh, a waste of manpower. I think they would much be, uh, they'd be much better suited uh going as an mg team instead so hmm absolutely um we'll see how that plays out but uh maybe they could use it for trying to damage a building or something but unless it's well know, they'd have to get like... a lock so hitting a building is going to be nigh right. impossible because i doubt they're going to be able to get a thermal lock to stay on for that lawn and even then uh it's going to get really funky in the camera angles because yeah. Uh, the rocket's going to go for that one position on the window. It could fall short, uh, potentially. And in Forested Warfare, we saw in uh, the third round of the EU branch, uh, one team tried to use a javelin gun in the forest, and the javelin hit the tree. Like, because he was in a deep forest. He was aiming for a BTR right next to him, got the lock, fired the missile, but it still hit a tree. Uh, and unfortunately, it was squandered. But his team still won, though. But, you know, it's... This is not a good place to have javelins. Blue 4, I understand why. It's because, you know, they have a BTR-70 contend with, and they're only going to have um, single-shot disposable AT. So having that extra AT is going to be very, very worthwhile. And there's still plenty of positions where if they catch the vehicle off guard uh, or in the open, it can be devastating. But independent, I don't know. Like, because again, uh, AT gunner first, recon second, but there's not really any good places to do recon from because this map is mainly flatland. So... Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to see how they do this, especially with the transporting of troops. They may try and... I can see them try and do a uh, strike from the rear, kind of what they did uh, um, here well, last week or a week before. There was some mission where they uh, went around the back, and uh, even though that they needed to capture them in a specific Steph, order, uh, they... Um, I'll answer know, you in a the, second. Uh, one that Finn made. Where they went to two and three and then came back to one. Yep. So I can see them doing something like that, where they, even though they can't take sector They can't three, do that, though. They got to take them in order. Um, but they can still uh, gain control of them, even though they can't wipe them out. Yeah, but so we saw that happen in the first round of EU. Someone was trying to back cap the second position, but they were spread so thin that no one was able to get to the first position. And uh, mm. they actually, it was Dingo I mean, it's, it's who was remaining. Game, yeah. But it was like one versus 12, so they just said on principle, hey, we're going to end the round early, despite uh, we know Dingo could probably do it, but... <laughs> it would just take too long, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. So, um, so someone in my chat brought up a really good point. Uh, Stefanik saying, does Independent know that they wouldn't need it? And honestly, just looking at the map, 
seeing that there's no hill markers anywhere, seeing all this forested, uh, you know, terrain and whatnot, I, I'd honestly, yeah, like, I would just switch that out looking at this map if I was Platoon Command. I'm not sure if they're actually allowed to do that after seeing the map. I'm not sure either, actually. So I'll, I'll uh, ask at uh, Endex, but if I had the ability, I'd switch it out because this is not good terrain for that uh, Matt Gunner at all for either of his purposes so i don't know yeah and uh they would be have been able to see like what assets each side no, some had guys so line up been, all the groups have, in the uh, cache known that um blue four doesn't have any vehicles or assets to utilize so anything that they you know taking that mat team they would have to know yeah we're just gonna be anti-infantry or recon or something because there's no other point for them Hey, so look at independent for a second. We have uh, a really stark difference here between the uh, the Milsimers and the Casuals. Oh, yeah. And there, there's, oh, the there's a bit of a stare down going on between the Milsimers and the Casuals on the BTR. It's uh, pretty intense. I'm not sure what's going to result of that. Now we have the uh, squad leader going down his line of men, uh, I guess giving them it an really inspiring speech. They, pff, fuck's sake. But, you know, I, I always love seeing that stark difference. Uh, F and F is a really beautiful blend between the casuals and the milsimers. Uh, and, you know, they both work together and we've seen some crazy plays by both, uh, you know, types of communities. And I think it's kind of cool that we have uh, a community that pulls other communities together to make these really awesome PvP fights, and especially with them being at 90 plus players for the uh, NA branch today. I'm uh, happy that streamers like yourself and me could, uh, you know, help boost those numbers in recent weeks, you know? Yeah, it's been great to see uh, people loving this so much and able to kind of give back in some way, just with even with just population. Turquoise uh, phase 17 uh, wasn't yeah, showing it's right. Funny, it got corrupted, and I don't, have don't know how to deal with it. So, squads. yeah. It was like showing that. phase 16, even numbers, though it was so phase. It's, it's dumb. Like don't worry about Shoopless it. And, uh, I don't know what the, I like to better YouTube something. broke Not it. Chibetta. That's why. That's all you need to know. Like these, the Millsummers have their little internet rank in front of their name, uh, and everyone else doesn't. So when the, the, the two uh, different kinds of players get mixed together in the same squad, that's when interesting things start mm -hmm. happening. I think. Hey, um, <laughs> we just saw Pierce strip naked and give them his stuff. That's because it looks like he was a uh, machine gunner. Uh, I guess he had something IRL come up. He was saluting naked uh, before he just disconnected there. Uh, we're seeing people loot his body, so that's uh, interesting enough. I hope someone takes that machine gun, because uh, that would be a, a very good thing to have. I hope he is okay. Oh, yeah. P99 is interesting. Yeah, for their handgun. I noticed that too. That's kind of weird, but uh, definitely, hopefully, they yeah. uh, take that machine gun, because that's uh, every automatic machine gun uh, helps. Also, whale raided me. You want to say hi to Whale? Oh, hi Whale. I'm, I was actually going to raid Whale at the end of this if you were still streaming. But I was too. To instead, yeah, I always, so. I always, um, between rounds, I check Twitch just to see who's streaming so I can at least get an idea of, you know, who I can raid after because I'm starting to get in yeah. the habit of raiding people more often. But it's always, they'll raid me before I end. I'm like, damn it, now I got to find someone else, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, by the way, uh, look at Enforce Spawn at the Jeeps. Someone, uh, Someone pulled a little prank. Oh, that's cute. Do they Just, not notice? I I don't think no. They they apparently have not noticed. Um. <laughs> oh, well, they definitely have to have noticed by now. You think you think they'll notice? Um, uh, man, this cheap's like all, going all over the road. They're they're dismounting. Hold up, Mr. Ann's like, wait, we're missing a wheel. Now, are they going to pull the spare wheel out, or are they going to go find that, the wheel? I... I think he's pulling the spare out. This is the car it's, with their mark. Yeah, they're pulling the it, spare out. <laughs> it's, it's 20 meters over there, you So, guys. mission started. People are going to start moving out, and uh, Sorry, these we guys... AAA. We got to get this, this tire <laughs> changed out. They can uh, go to the BTR. The BTR ready. has plenty of tires. They can just, they just take one from there. <laughs> Easy game. Hey. It's got Easy game. Back, even. Yeah, I mean, it's there's oh, one literally God. right on top of it. They could just take that tire. Easy. Oh, the BTR gunner is looking at him like, what are they doing? But all right, 
So, um, unfortunately, Independent has already taken a casualty. It is minus one tire left at spawn, and uh, it's very unfortunate. Oh, they almost hit that, that rock wall, too, and they probably would have lost the They would have lost more tires! Oh, it is oh. a <laughs> I'd hate to see if they get that stuck. Like, they, they lost the tire, put the tire back, and they get stuck on a rock while I'd be laughing my ass off. Anyway, uh, those vehicles are pushing way to the south, possibly to do a wide flank here. We have one green four team. Uh, looks like the major part of the forest going through the uh, large forest area is probably going to get uh, to that little uh, infill point between um, basically on the line of uh, 699. Mm -hmm. uh, to go left or right, get in that forested area, and then go right on top of the town. Blue 4 is anticipating this, though, because they do have some people set up on the perimeter, uh, and they are just going to be lying in wait, but they haven't dug any entrenchments yet, but they're not trying to be stealthy either. They're just uh, on top of two little uh, divots on the hill. Uh, we've got another Green 4 force uh, probably coming to do that southern push along line uh, 692 in that forested area I mentioned earlier. Uh, but looks like Green Force also separating into three separate groups. We might see a potential back cap, as you mentioned earlier. And then Blue Force also sent a few dudes. Looks like it's Scandi Recon, so TSB and pals. They're in the town of Tantern, watching for a potential uh, route from uh, uh, 493, uh, that forested area. So Blue Force doing a really good job to cover all potential routes. Uh, an independent, uh, I mean, they could still switch it up and uh, go through some other routes. Maybe if they do the forested uh, one off of... Uh, the 698 line uh they could send some guys up north and still run into scandy i'm also really concerned here because i see yanni uh looking off in one direction uh he is a demo guy uh maybe he's, he's put some explosives drunk. out right there he is very drunk and usually he makes the really dumb silly plays when he's drunk but they usually pay off especially in the pve ops he does so <laughs> we'll have to see how this goes but look at this we have the two gun cars have pulled over to this barn uh trying to use With the mat team yep ah uh, so they're gonna go up on this um this is not a bad call uh going no, all the way that. to the south trying to see through the open field and see what they spot that's literally the best thing they can do with that mat team uh, but they're going to be able to use it for infantry sniping so if they see a bunch of infantry somewhere they'll be able to get a good shot but the cost is their MG assets aren't going to be able to support the infantry coming in and sometimes a mobile yeah. gun car is a very major difference here but blue for they're going to hold Sector 1 and 2, and uh, they got Scandi by 3, but they're just watching uh, potential Overwatch in here. This could go either way, to be honest. Uh, it's going uh, to come down to the PvP. Uh, if Blue 4 gets more kills, then they'll be able to win it. But you got to remember, like, Independent is like 9 or 10 dudes above uh, Blue 4. So if they trade 1 to 1 even on the PvP, Independent's going to win by default. So... We'll see what creative things Blue 4 does. It's also good to note that Scandi Recon is on Blue 4 as well, and they are some of the better players, uh, especially Nemesis. Uh, Nafs, uh, I don't mean to toot his horn, but in TSB, he's one of those, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, King of the Hill players that often runs off and kills an entire squad mm -hmm. by himself because he's bored. Oh, yeah, uh, Nafs. Yeah, so uh, he's the medic for Scandi Recon, which... That's a good joke, let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna run off on his own before he medics anyway. I don't mean to shit talk him, but you know, just based off of experience. So we'll see what he does. But Green 4, again, coming along this major flank. Looks like they're slowing down a bit, but this is gonna be a massive push by them, and they will be able to overpower Blue 4 uh, if that's the case. But I am seeing a lot of demo guys on Blue 4, so I'm curious to see if there's any traps that are gonna get placed. Uh, that independent might walk on usually they're ineffective but in the times where they are effective they're able to get like triple kills uh oh, but i'd yeah. say it's like I... one in four so we'll see yeah um i would think with this much time that they've had that they'll you know kind of mine the perimeter you know, well just set down charges i guess but uh big push coming in from oh the my Northwest heart's beating fast why is it beating fast no, looks like not even doing BTR anything BTR to the west we have martin squad mm -hmm. coming along direct west of sector one um so this is a pretty beefy attack just kind of almost brute forcing it you got a good force on the north side of green four uh watching for a counter attack or qrf from tattern mm -hmm. you sort of gunshot go off 
Also, uh, someone in my chat asked if I'll ever play on the ground of Friday Night Fights. Uh, maybe, uh, but the issue, like, the official reason why I don't is because uh, you're not allowed to play vehicular manslaughter, and I do that all the time to the point where I will do it by default if I see a guy. Uh, I mean, it literally happened in the BIA op I played uh, yesterday. Uh, literally turned my brain off and started running enemies over. Uh, because it's it's a tactic that I like to use. So if I were to be put in that position, if I start running people over, I'm going to get in a lot of trouble and probably lose my ability to stream for a while, uh, and I don't want to risk that. So if I do play, it's going to be in an op where I'm either in a chopper that gets shot down within the first five minutes, because lol, um, or it's going to be an op where I physically cannot get into a vehicle and start running people over, because... Yeah, I see it as a valid tactic. I will argue it as a valid tactic, but I don't I don't want to get in trouble with the man because I like this. I like streaming these. And I think the coffee is making my heart rate go crazy. Uh, I don't know why. It's just it's beating in my chest. Well, I'd hope it's in your ch it's beating in your chest because if it was. Beating yeah, I would else, hope it's not beating somewhere else because uh, then I wouldn't really be here too long. And then Barbarian inherits the channel in my will. I do. Oops, now he's going to kill me for it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> is pushing you off a train and making it look like an accident really killing you? All right, I'm crossing your name out and I'm writing M's. He is the better editor yeah. anyway. <laughs> what if I have a perfect one-to-one -one copy? Okay, no, this, this joke's going nowhere. Um, we have the two gun cars. They push a bit more. I got the Actually, CIA yeah, heart attack on me. They push a bit me. more east of there, now south-southeast of the two sectors on the south side. Uh, you gotta is going up that MSR now. You gotta commit, uh, commend the uh, op four gun trucks. They're trying to find angles where they can support here, but you know, despite this being a relatively open map, this AO is fairly close quarters. Uh, we also have the marksman going up on his own. Uh, he is in the middle of an open field uh, on the southern side again, just trying to find some licks in here. He's a uh, doggy crawling across the. Uh, position but he could probably get up to this tree line try to get some snipe kills but uh blue four has really really good 360 also warwick uh if he dies he'll probably join us in the casting couch he is one of the other shout casters but he is watching south uh, uh west side uh has Hera's door Hera's door is running right up onto the entire green force squad oh my gosh you're right this might be first contact actually no it is gonna be first contact absolutely i think war dog just saw him Hello? How can I help you? Hey, look, it's Norse! Oh, handgun. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to commentate Norse? what they'll be saying. Norse didn't see no, him. No, uh, he walked right past. Must have been the here, here's, uh, here's a door definitely saw him, oh though. God. Yeah, here is, here and we're going to have Op4 yeah. walk on to uh, Wheaton on the northern flank, too. Oh, yep. Yeah. And that's a good everyone guns up. Uh, I think they've seen the trench line, so they're trying to look around here. Wheaton is, uh, Independent is aware because they see the little bit of trench poking out. Uh, but Wheaton, I think, is unaware. And now we're seeing machine gun shots firing at fire, fire. I just heard a Matt team launch. Uh, I think going to the south, maybe? I don't know. No, that was Matt team for Independent firing at Sector 2, knocking Boston unconscious. Uh, they were aiming for the rooftop. Uh, Pure Paradise also got hit. They uh, engaged the Blue Four Matt team and knocked them out of position. That's going to let no way. So that's knocked uh, Blue Four sight lines off from there. Now you have Independent fully charging here. Uh, major firefight happening uh, on the forest side where Wheaton is. It's three versus literally like three squads worth of dudes. One of the Blue Four guys goes down. That was Anderson. Damn, that's Anderson's usually a really good player. Uh, I'd be curious to see if uh, Hirazador uh, comes oh, behind oh, Blue Four. Is. But yeah, grenade yeah, spam up the wazoo. That's Martin's squad, or nearest squad rather. He's uh, our bullets are going everywhere. Squads, actually, but there looks like they're concentrating some GL fire on the building that quickly and firefighter in. Weed and Hoyt, they're getting run up on. The position is about to be overrun. Oh, fuck. Independent uh, has slowed down. Serbi went down. He can be brought back up though. I think uh, Tarn is trying to bandage him up. Uh, but some great suppression as uh, high Wheaton throwing a grenade out lands right by Montgomery and it doesn't knock him out but definitely did some damage and uh, they returned it in kind uh, Patriot and Tom Cruise both getting some shrapnel as oh we just had explosions go off one of those explosions knocked two people out in nurse group uh, I think that's why uh, Hazador was up here oh my god I guess yes, he was calling no it out man. for um 
Yeah, I think it was Firefighter's charges, actually, because he's the one right there, and he's looking in that direction. So really good use of explosives right there. Again, I'm saying yeah. one in four, it's effective, but in that four, it does a lot of damage. 25% of the time, it works every time. Here's the issue, though. N uh, Norse is still up. He is an independent medic. He might be able to save uh, these two dudes, but that's going to definitely halt that attack flank. I mean, you can see the crater right on top of the yeah. smoke. Literally, there was one dude right on top of the crater where Snow is, so I'm impressed yeah. that Snow is still alive. He did fail his wake-up check, though, so he, he's going to need some medical attention. Yeah, but the medic is right there. Blue 4, uh, Wheaton, and the other guy got killed. Uh, Independent is now coming up this position. And op, uh, Independent, I always call him uh, Op 4. But uh, they're going to basically roll down this position. Wheaton's still alive. He actually pulled back into a building and is now firing from it. But Blue 4 just needs to... They're, they're spread pretty damn thin, to be perfectly honest. And we yeah, have the gun cars uh, driving around um, on the south. BTR-70 is out on the outskirts, uh, possibly trying to push in. Go ahead. Sorry, I cut you off. No, no worries. Um, I was just going to say, here as it's still lying. There's BTR the shooting. Uh, just waiting for uh, some kind of opportunity to show itself as uh, the northwestern front. Reinforce pushed in, taking out the, the small trench line. Got a man down it. right there. And now they're pushing around to uh, the north of Sector 1. And there are some defenses up here, but it's only really Drake and Nutty Person uh, with some other blue force spread out, like Wheaton Bridges. Oh! Point. I think those are the guys who actually were in that trench line, so they must have pulled back. By the but way, Hi um, Hero Resort, uh, his Radar, whatever you want to call him, he's a blue four marksman. Yes, so he wants this distance to uh, keep growing. But he's like right next to him. I know, right? I'm still surprised. Firefighter! Like, it was actual Hold up, look at Corporal Firefighter. He's about to get breached by two independent guys. Door opens! They see him, and he gets shot in the back and executed. Oh, he was the last guy up there. And mm -hmm. Wilson, I think, just shot Shootless. Uh, oh, dear. So a little bit of crossfire going on. Oh, a lot of round just went off up here. Uh, Matt, team for Blue for Pure Paradise. He's trying to get a lock on a uh, gun car uh, driven by one of Delta's uh, machine gun teams. Uh, but that is distracting them, so they don't keep eyes on the rest of the AO, but they don't even have those eyes. Uh, so... He's able to get the lock lost because he keeps driving in this tree line, but if he goes in this open area, he might give him enough time to get that thermal lock. I can hear the beeps. Ooh, you can't. Okay. Well, in my head, because I fired a javelin, oh. it's a do 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 whack, yeah. whack, whack. You know what I mean? Like, I yeah, trained yeah, yeah. AT so many fucking times. It's rocket, ingrained rocket, rocket. in my head. Ah. You know, why do we call it as rocket, rocket, rocket when we're firing a yeah, missile, missile launcher? I mean, I don't know. You're the one who teaches it, so I guess that's that's standard it. procedure, though. Also, we have a dead body uh, next to the blue four mat team on the rooftop. So I think that javelin did get a kill at some point, or the uh, suppressing random machine gun fire was able to get a kill too. Oh yeah. Huh. Oh man, but independent sweeping this town. We've got three guys close to Wheaton and uh, Quigley. Wheaton, who was originally on the front line, has been doing a good job pulling back. Uh, we got to see if they're going to be able to listen Ooh. to footsteps here and uh, cause some more issues in the plan. Bridges uh, just went down north northwest of Sector yep, 1. Yep, Payne's going to walk up and get the double tap. Uh, doesn't get the kill, but definitely prevented him from waking up with a few uh, shots to the back of the head. Uh, unfortunately, I have to say Bridges committed suicide. Uh, three bullets to the back of the head. <laughs> Funny how that works, but yeah, yeah it's unfortunate. So Matt team, by the way, have pulled down. Still getting distracted by that technical. They're seeing it. They're probably, um, if he's holding tab, he'll keep getting little lock warnings on it. But he's got to get a, uh, a clear picture for at least five seconds. And uh, he's lost it, though. He's now looking in the wrong direction. The issue with the technical is they're driving right by their um, marksmen. Uh, and they got to hope that he doesn't drag the attention away. But also that's caused Blue 4 to get off of those high buildings and stuff, which would have exposed them to the marksmen. So in reality, they're not really complementing each other's strategies. There's a uh, yeah, B-Man down right there. Uh, from the north uh, side of Sector 1, we have Ta Tornfall coming in with his little team. Uh, he's been pushing in on the flank of uh, the Sector 1 house itself. Uh, they've had the time Ooh. to pretty well. Lots of Hesco barriers. By the way, by the way, quickly, Wheaton, uh, they were able to take one dude out. A um, Grenades are being pulled in. Quigley gets uh, shot down. And now we're seeing Rust come in the rear here. He's going upstairs to try to find Wheaton, but he's on the first story bandaging. 
Ooh. And yeah, we just he's just watching the door with his life. I'm trying to survive. He only has a G36K. I think his buddy had the machine gun. Uh, a door could open right behind him, and it would be GG. Uh, there he is trying to fire some shots. Passes by Nielsen. Nielsen runs oh, in, yes. but Wheaton is reloading, so he tries to run away. And now Nielsen's out of ammo, so he's running. Wheaton's out of grenades as well, I think. Is Russ going to open that door? There it is, and he shoots Wheaton in the back of the head, but he goes down! Oh my god! Oh my. Wheaton is on a roll, but he gets knocked out by Nelson! Wow! What a mad lad! Gets double tap, but holy crap. Those are the types of trades Blue 4 needs to be making. Uh, those 1 to 2 duly wakes back up, though, but uh, they did get another independent guy. Um, so I mean, two to three, uh, two to two with uh, one waking back up uh, isn't ideal, but still, like that's the level they need to be at, and hopefully it'll be okay. But I'm looking at more blue four guys in the town. Uh, we got Olaf, Mito, uh, Lurch is down. Uh, Mannerheim's the only guy on the right flank. There was another guy with them, but if uh, Blue Four can start going solo and taking two or three guys with them, they can really even this fight out and make uh, the just keep doing well, you know. Meanwhile, we've got uh, I'm just gonna call him Kazadar. Because it reminds me of the frickin' Kazadars from Fallout New Vegas, but... He's still out and about on his uh, own. The BTR is driving close by. Yeah, I was about to say, he might also, get up on Also, I BTR. see Snow and another dude. Uh, we got a dude dead by Snow, so I think Kazadar probably, um... Got the kill and the snipe right there, and now the BTR might be uh, looking around trying to find him. He has yeah. one kill on his scoreboard, so that might have been the kill. Which How do you pull up the scoreboard? Uh, if you hit tab and bring up the thing when you're selected on someone, uh, it brings up... Oh, you're right. Yep, does have the kill. So um, he'll probably get the second one on Snow. But yeah, he's um, basically getting some licks in. Again, you want to trade that way on Blue 4 uh, because otherwise uh, Independent will win the number advantage. We just saw a fun guy get a shot on Gorski, getting some double taps to uh, finish him off. Again, uh, those are the types of kills. Yep. Uh, something interesting happening. Mannerheim and his team who are defending Sector 1, they've now ret they're, they're retreating east. Yeah. Olaf, Mito, Fan Guy, and Acid Pantalones uh, alone. Olaf's the only one that's in the Sector One bubble right now. Well, and if he leaves it and one person from Green Four enters it, they're going to capture Sector One. Olaf is actually just outside of the Sector One bubble right now. Um, yeah, I, I see board. why Blue Four is doing this though. If they get more people on Sector Two, Sector Two is a really good defensive position. But yeah. I'm worried Blue Four has suffered too many casualties here. Uh, to get it lost. I mean, looking at Blue Fort, they have an entire uh, team dead. They got a few guys dead in other spots. And there we go. Is. Olaf was outside, so uh, Fisher came in and captured that sector. And that now we're seeing Olaf. Olaf. Yep. Oh, this is going to be messy. Montgomery's gotten out. They're trying to fire through the building here. Olaf and uh, Mito, they've pushed out. Still got a little bit of room here. Meanwhile, uh, Independence, uh, they've got a lot of deaths all around, but both, all groups are still in the open. We have Nipita, um, Nip Patman. I'm just, yeah, let's just call him Patman. Uh, was able, got some shots on Mito, crippled him. More bullets going off. Mito taking some more fire. Uh, Olaf trying to cover him the best they can. Uh, but we have Montgomery, I think, looking into, yeah, he's keyholing the opening of this barn. Might try to go a little more to the right to get a drop here. Oh, and Mito goes down. Mito goes Mito down. Yeah, so basically Independence starting to surround this barn, and uh, it is not going to go well for any Blue 4 guys still alive. Uh, we have Fun Guy over here setting up an AT4, I guess listening to that BTR, but it's not going to be able to get up to where Fun Guy wants it to because of the barn. Olaf pushing out that vector as well. He's pushing into where four guys are seeing him, and I just saw five bullets go into his face. He had a massive concave of people firing at him, and it, it dropped him. Mito taking more bullets to the back. Uh, Kazadar still staying back here. Uh, trying to engage some guys. I don't think he got a kill, though. I think he was firing at Give Me Your Melt, because I see him turned around looking at him. Uh, maybe Give Me Your Melt will be able to see him. No, he decides to reposition instead. I would say that's smart, because if he has uh, properly audio PID, that that is the marksman, because the marksmen have very uh, specific gunshot noises. 
that would not be a one-on-one -on -one fight you want to try to win at range because he has a scope to uh, basically shoot you in the face and then you're done, especially since it's a 7.62 bullet. But otherwise, uh, Independent is uh, sweeping through the middle trying to make sure they got everyone. Uh, looks we like Fun Guy. At, uh, we have Lottofella and Russian Fury up at that construction site in between sectors 2 and 3. Yeah, and they are part of a Delta team, so do they have a machine gun with them? Yes, they have one of the PKPs. Explosions Ooh. go off near Fun Guy and Acid. Yeah, yep, and another charge goes off as well in random buildings, but they weren't effective. So like I said, for every four... I think they mismarked the building that they put, uh, put that first one in, because that almost took out two friendlies. Yeah. And, yeah, Bruce is being mis pid They're seeing the movement, and they're just shooting at whatever's moving. Yeah, but now Independent has a really strong amount of players here with Platoon HQ right behind them, and they're firing at Blue 4 position. But Blue 4, they've got a pretty decent amount of guys in this sector. Uh, and then Scandi Recon's gonna be in charge of defending, but it looks like they're calling for Finn to send Infidel Nemesis down south. Oh, uh, uh, but the question is, will that Delta team in the construction building possibly see them? And no, they're actually being pulled to the southern flank. Um, I mean, if Russian were to turn around, he might be able to see this... Uh, oh, oh, there it is! I think he just spotted him. Yep, he just immediately uh, crouched and went back. Now he just gotta set up his machine gun and wait it out. He might be able to catch Nemesis out of position. Knocking Nemesis out early would be devastating. There he goes running by, but I think they're just going to let him pass because they don't know how many guys are pushing around. Meanwhile, Independent has some of their Delta teams coming around. Uh, we're seeing some machine gun fire firing behind Blue 4 in some of these buildings, but at that range, I think it's just to scare them. I think because they see the body up on the rooftop, not see, realizing that that's a dead body. Um, uh, so, real quick, just, uh, back, yep. in the, back in the West, uh, here as a door. Um, Martin actually came back to pick up Snow, and he does pick him up. Here, Ezredor, um doesn't... Not uh, noticing yet, noticed though. Yeah, he He's instead looting yeah, a dead BTR, body. The, the BTR actually rolled up near his position, so he had to hide in the bush. But yep. now it Snow's back up, and wow. Martin is uh, going back with him. They might uh, run to his uh, sights again. I we'll wonder see. how they know that they're back there. You know what I mean? Yeah, like Snow... I don't know if Snow woke back up and then got taken down again, but he... They may not even know that uh, there's a, a possibility of a marksman or a sniper. Like, hold on. Let me let me look. Where's Martin in the roster? Martin and Snow are in the same group. So do so you think they group chatted? Uh, no, I think they probably I think they have C-Tab. Do so they have C-Tab? Because that's that's a little concerning. You know what I mean? But you're right. If the if um I Martin was the team leader. So, yeah, they'd be able to track each other's positions. But. You know, it's a little concerning, but it, as long as they have micro daggers and stuff, then that's obvious why they would go back for him. Meanwhile, yeah, yeah, Pain yeah. and Jedi moving up to Blue Force position. We just saw a Jedi get killed because uh, Pantalos. Oh, he goes down. Uh, fun guy. He actually gets straight through the bushes. Mm hmm. So I hear Fun Guy just do a quick reload. We're hearing that 14.5 uh, firing up. I'm not sure if it's firing up Fun Guy. The fun guy firing at Nielsen gets the kill on Nielsen. A good shot right there. That's a good headshot. Uh, no, the B2 is looking further up the road towards the uh, sector two marker. Yeah, we also have uh, duly unconscious over here. Machine gun firing style. down. Uh, Harazador might actually come up and get some more kills. We got Tom Cruise with uh, Ooh. Patman. Ooh. Fun Guy gets another kill on um, on Sergeant Payne. Nice. So again, Fun Guy making a really good call here. That's two kills so far. Um, will he score some more? It doesn't look like Independent knows that he's over here, but it looks like Fun Guy is repositioning. Going in the building, oh, kills Fisher. Three kills so far. Now, is he going to run through this uh, barn building? Yes, he is. He's going to get a beautiful flank on Frost. Takes Frost down. And now he's getting shot at from everywhere. Frost might be able to get back up. Fun guy gets knocked out, but beautiful. Out. You want your blue four guys. Four he got four kills. Four kills. Who's the fourth? I don't know, but that's what it said at the bottom. In the oh, yeah, okay. No, you're right. So, um, that, that's good. Again, you want blue four to get in those, uh, be getting those oh, high yeah, kill capacities here. Cause, uh, that's got to even it out. We still need the mat guy to take out that VTR. Yeah, they do have AT4s, and behind the lines, the Jeep is running interference on the east yep. side, and it's actually drawing a lot of attention. Finn and Infidel are looking at it. Versus yep. Scandi Recon are coming up. Uh, Katie and XX are coming in as well. 
Hey, Hold up, uh, D1, a Grenadier round just came off, uh, landed by Arcor. I don't think it did any wounding damage, but these guys don't know where that came from because I don't think they would have heard the thunk at that range, maybe faintly. Maybe. Uh, but they also have a machine gun set up, so if they poke their heads out, they're going to get a face full of bullets. And I think they did hear the thunk, or at least they know where it might have come from because they're walking in that direction, but we'll see what happens with that. Ooh, we just suppressed right on top of Eagle. Meanwhile, the, they actually dismount from the Jeep. Blake, Vito, and Flanagan, they've dismounted the Jeep M249, and they're on foot now. Yep, we have a smoke round going off. Don't know what that was about, but now they're getting engaged Ooh. by... Uh, Scanny Recon. And, yep, uh, here, Paradise Golfer. Mm-hmm. And one of them gets wounded. Good shot. Oh, here guys is on the roof of one of the buildings in Sector 1. And so he's got a perfect view over watching the BTR. I think he oh, might yeah. someone as well. Uh, Dooley's been down for a while. Um, he was down before he got on this building. But if someone goes up to try to medic him, like, possibly give me your milk, he's going to get a perfect headshot. Come on. Kazdor. Uh, yeah, Kazdor. So he's got a razor barrel. What? Come on. Take the shot, buddy. Take the shot! The barrel was clear, but... Oh, what the hell, dude? Oh, he snipes Dooley <laughs> off! <laughs> he snipes Dooley off his shoulders. And Patman now running out in the open, firing up! Yeah, his cover's blown. He needs to take this contact out and get the fuck out. Grenade he throws a grenade. Uh, it's a little That's short. A no, that was... Okay, no, that was fair. They moved, but damn. Uh, it hit Tom Cruise. I see him bleeding now. But, all right, no, he was able to get a sniper kill to prevent someone from getting medic back, and... <laughs> Oh, come on. No. Oh. No, I refuse. Oh, of I course. Refuse. Welcome to Friday Night Fights, where incompetence still happens. We gotta remember everyone's Marks human. Camp on rooftops and then fall off. Oh, the god damn it. Oh, my lord. What happened to this round? Look well, at this frick. there goes that. Hey, look, I, I see my awesome. heartbeat in the air right now. It's a, it's a smoke grenade uh, with tracers. It was doing like a zigzag up and down. That was pretty damn yes. cool. Think, uh, you can see it in the air now. Like, yeah, second was, one got uh, launched. The gren uh, grenade launcher smoke. I mean, yeah, grenade launcher smoke, exactly. But now we're seeing Drake and Chuplis popping smoke to try to push up. There are four yeah, dudes. Gonna... Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me have the floor here. Blue Force hiding in porta potties. Oh my God. The porta potty yes. play. They're going to play the porta potty. <laughs> Let's see how how Dingo's prepping AT at the outside. Oh, and Voss is gonna get him. Oh, he might be able to get a snipe on the BTR. Dingo, Dingo might backblast himself though. But he's gonna kill the BTR. Dingo, uh, Dingo, Dingo. He gets yep, out. perfect out. hit. Wheels out. And oh. looks like he did not backblast himself. He's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Hey, have you seen that one thing of like the 12 Marines? Another uh, <laughs> AT coming in by Mannerheim. <laughs> Dingo just got friendly fired. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Oh shit. <laughs> hey, he took out the BTR and he gets. He's like, hey guys, I killed the BTR. Eh, <laughs> ah, headshot. Oops. Oh, Sorry. It was a two round. It's PID. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't even time for PID. It was just fear. It's it not a like porta potty, it's the murder potty. Ay, ay, ay. By the way, that Delta team that was on the construction building Dingo is pulling around to the, the north. Word. Dingo forgot What's the, the safe word. <laughs> What's the password? What password? Oh, Bang. my God. So, by the way, BTR crew still alive. They dismounted. Uh, uh, they look wounded, but that's okay. Uh, Kazadar here, he is trying to get another flank around. Independence pulled away. Looks like they're trying to medic oh. Frost up. Explosive charge goes off. And uh, looks like wounds a few guys. Drake, I'm trying to see. He's buried in the rubble. He's alive, but yeah, he's buried under the rubble uh, like it's a Tokyo earthquake. Yep, so but, he's got to uh, find a way to get out of there. If he just walks up a uh, solid vector, he'll be okay. Meanwhile, Stray Dog in a bunker trying to fire at Shoopless here. And uh, Drake manages to uh, angle himself up and crawl out of the rubble. And Stray Dog getting sniped by Shoopless uh, in the head. Good shot. Uh, but now, Blue Four is pretty much in the wooded area, uh, just trying to play defensive. It's still anyone's game. Uh, I wonder if an independent guy, they're going to hear um, independent come up and try to loot this body they, and then the porta potties the, open. The two Blue Four guys here on the south side of Sector 2, they, they got both of them, so now it's just the... Uh, it's the porta potty, but the porta potty's in the sector. 
Yeah, it's in the sector. They they're keeping the door open because I guess they don't want a repeat of what happened with uh, Dingo. But no, the uh, door's closed. No, for me it's still open. Oh, I so. well, that's gonna suck if an independent guy still has open. Fifteen oh. minutes remaining. Fifteen minutes of porta potty camping. Let's go. I am so as, on board for this. Blue four. As the rest of blue four, they go to to get sector three. But we have Ladofel and Russian Fury. They're gonna come up and roll right on top of Yanni. So, Cazador, um, oh, trying to get no. more eyes on Op4. Oh, no. Lothfell what? just executes Yanni. Oh, yep, as, I just caught that. As Blue 4 is pushing in, we have Indigo Fox, Iceberg. Yep, Nafs is still in here, though. Uh, might, Nafs, if he's still looking out that window, he might catch uh, Lafayette uh, out of position. I call him that. It's not his name, though. Uh, and Iceberg's also coming in. Uh, you got Arcor Fox and Indigo coming in, so uh, Independent might be able to use these fortifications against them. Uh, Nafsk has has got to be hearing those footsteps outside his building. Uh, possibly if he's if he's uh, sound horning like that, then it's definitely possible. But I no! Oh, I missed it. Blue Four pushed out of the porta potty and killed Shotland. Uh, and now oh, they're getting no. killed. I cannot believe I missed that. They should have just waited there until um, Independent really um. Should've. Cleared them out fully, because then uh, they would have been able to drag the clock down. Uh, T5 Bay getting a kill on a dude. Uh, yeah. Pads is the only one still alive, but he is getting shot at. That was that was a mistake by them, in my opinion. They should have waited in there and uh, just. If they waited too long, then they would have been fish in a barrel. But yeah, is actually Well, I agree, but no one's gonna check the fucking porta potty. Let's oh, be honest. Iceberg gets, gets Lotofell and avenges uh, Yanni, but he's gonna shot in return from yep. uh, Russian Fury. Also, I see another blue four body. I think that was oh, Arcor. Iceberg. And Iceberg gets the second kill right there and denies yeah, uh, Delta yeah, that uh, premature shot, flank. So. God damn. Looking back, bad Pads bad. is still alive. Uh, the sector was lost, though, because he left the area. Uh, if he waits for Independent to leave, he could go up Heal Mountain and reinforce. Or catch Give Me Your Milk out of position as he loots the knee pitman. And, and I think uh, that's act that the, the fact that he got captured is going to work in his favor because now Independent's going to go, okay, job's done. Let's oh, T5 Bay and checking the porta uh, potty and Pads drops him. Sholin woke back up and now he's in the porta potty. What the, <laughs> the porta potty of power. I love this. Oh! <laughs> no. Beautiful. Oh, no. This is just a massive fight for the porta potty. Nothing more, nothing less. I just heard an explosion somewhere as well. Uh, that would be um, a car uh, getting blown up, possibly by a mat team. I I don't know. I wasn't tracking. Pads is still alive. T5 Bay wakes back up. He gets executed by the porta potty man as well. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Voss, uh, thinking about running around the flank, realizes he's going to fight a duel with a porta potty, decides not to. Sholin, meanwhile, still camping the potty. Bates now trying to fight Pads here. Pads, um, knocking him back. Sholin opens the porta potty. Pads executes the man on the porta potty. <laughs> I, I'm having too much fun with this. This is the war. No, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise finally came out of the closet and killed the porta potty man. I am so disappointed. Give me your milk, might spot Mountain here and knock him out. But I mean, Mountain's not gonna wake back up. But wow, again. Porta potty crew, despite opening a little too early, in my opinion, they uh, got some pretty nasty licks in. And that porta potty stunt has stalled independent, letting Blue oh, yeah. Force set up on sector three. And there is 11 minutes, 30 seconds remaining. And we still have another that round after round. this. Yeah, that might be the round, and we're already almost at like 11 p.m. Oh, Lord. This is going to uh, be a late one, and it sucks because I have CCO to command tomorrow. Uh. Oh, Lord. Kazdar still pushing up the rear here. Uh, he might get a shot or two because Gimme Your Milk is in the open. Oh, Kazdar's got a perfect shot on him. If he can line it up, he's got a pole in the way, though, so he's got to fight with that. But uh, a beautiful headshot on Gimme Your Milk would be great. And that's one of Independent's medics, too. I think he's just waiting for him oh. to stop moving. He what? has looked back up. Oh, I just, oh my God, I didn't realize. I Who? guess I know you were talking about him. Hi, Raz. He oh, yeah, no, he, I saw him maneuvering around again, even though he had that boo-boo. Because -boo. I, uh, yeah, I don't think he, he got shot, so he's he's likely yeah. to wake back up. He hasn't been shot before. Uh, you know how I have the down snare. But, oh, he waited for him to pick him back up. Knocks him out. Nice. Beautiful. Wasn't a kill, though. Give me nice. your milk could still wake back up. And he's going oh, for the double bad. tap. 
Cause uh, give me your uh, mouth was um. I think he's hitting his arm, but yeah, he's not gonna be waking up from that. Yeah, that's some good stuff. Uh, Eagle heard that though. He's coming around. He has a stolen. Nope, that's a PKM. Instead, he's checking the porta potty bodies. Look at all the bodies by the goddamn porta potty. Something bad nice. happened here. Give me your nice. mouth. Meanwhile, wakes back up. He's gonna abandon oh, wow. uh Patman. That's. I think the second shot was in the arm. Uh, but give me your mouth. Yeah, Running in the porta potty. <laughs> The porta potty is too important. I'm just gonna call this episode the porta potty episode and leave it at that when I upload this. Uh, can, hold on. I can think of a wittier title. No, it's it's the porta potty it's, episode. Uh, soldiers in the shitter. Um, <laughs> I I can't put that on YouTube though. <laughs> Uh, you could do, um, so I could I could censor out half of it, but yeah, no, you're right. That's that's even better uh, than porta potty. Uh, Marines get stuck in a porta potty. Oh my God, soldiers in the shit. <laughs> All right, below ten minutes. Independent has lost their numbers advantage. To be perfectly honest, it's it looks pretty even. I'm gonna do a quick head count here. So we have blue four. Uh, we still have the marksman doing work. Uh. So not uh, counting him, we have uh, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 blue 4 guys. Independent has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's 13 even. So every kill is going to matter now. Yeah, and we have less than 9 minutes remaining. So green 4, they're uh, doing something kind of smart. They're, kind of, they're trying to attack from the east, southeast. But uh, blue 4, I mean, they have such a small area to work with that they're... It's not hard for them to maintain 360 security on the sector. Yep. But uh, with how thick these forests the are, yeah, Independent can get pretty damn close at the vector they they're going are, on. Yeah. yeah, and they can get even closer, get behind these uh, piles of wood and uh, do some pretty nasty damage. Uh, looks like Blue oh, Force trying to set up right here. Yeah, the, the timbers. To the right Steve of Mannerheim and Nutty. Of, uh... Some some giant logs all all bundled together. Yes, yeah, that bun that's what I. Sticks. Barb, no, yes. no, you can't say that word. That's the word that got me banned for a month on Twitch. <laughs> you can't say French bread. You can't say that to me. You can't do that to me, man. Not again. I won't, I won't um, go back. Again. I, oh, fuck off. Because I got banned. But, never mind. Anyway, give me your milk. Wait, anyway. uh, walking away. <laughs> yeah. uh, Nipat man being left behind. He's probably not going to wake back up. Uh, his Adar needs to be uh, quicker here because the out. last fight is about to start. Uh, Independent has the number. Uh, actually, they don't have the number advantage, but um, with all their guys coming up, they will eventually have the number advantage. But every kill is going to count here. So it's whoever can get the double kill is probably going to win it for their team. But uh, Blue 4, they have a few guys out on the play set. Uh, classic TSB uh, loves to play on play sets, but uh, Independent's going to get a slight advantage. Look at Badis here, right up next to Mannerheim, going on the opposite side of uh, that tree here. Wow. This is so close quarters through these trees. I mean, it is so many grenades going Man off as well. Gets the kill on Carpenter. Gets the kill on Bates too. Carpenter going unconscious. Uh, Mannerheim can get the double tap. And it looks like he's trying to, but he's glitching the wood. Yeah. There's the double kill. And I mean, that probably just sealed the deal for Blue 4, unless Independent can make an equal trade. Uh, that first attack has allowed the southern flank to push in, but Iceberg getting a shot on Martin. And still firing at uh, Drake's previous position. Sees him too because he's I on the rooftop. Yeah, he probably stole it from one of the guys he killed. Um, that's a. Yeah, no, you're right. PKP, it's uh, black, so he definitely took it from the other body behind him. You can see his gun uh, on the floor. But yeah, no. Um, actions like that. Tom Cruise going down. Damn. Scientology can only get you so far. Uh, but Iceberg, uh, I think he's taking some more ammo. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Now, like. I think Blue Four is going to win because of the numbers. Uh, Drake uh, and time, yeah. six minutes. A lot can happen in six minutes, but because um, Blue Four got three free kills right there and pretty much nullified uh, Independent's slight number Ooh. advantage because Blue Four was stretched out. Uh, Drake almost took out uh, Fade on the second story of the building that he's in, so he, he's trying to move, move around. You also have uh, Marshall. A strong position. Yep, Marshall, Golfer, Pure Paradise. They're trying to crawl around and uh, hit uh, Op4 in the rear, which is a really smart idea. We also have Infidel and Drake. Great. Infidel! Infidel and hopping over and getting body. shot in the yep. face. Ouch. He tried to loot Yanni's body and then he pushed over and right into Drake's loving arms. Now, I wonder if Nemesis is going to see Drake. 
Oh, we also have Cyrus. Nope, here. Nemesis oh, has a bush Nemesis. in the way. Drake getting Drake a double tap. Up a shot. He let off a shot, though, and that's going to draw Cyrus' attention. Not Nemesis's, though. Uh, Drake's going to run right into Cyrus here. Cyrus has to hear those footsteps. And oh, Cyrus, he wants it right on top of Cyrus, oh, and Cyrus gets the beautiful. kill. Defender's advantage. Well I love played. it. Well so played. now we're down to, uh, honestly, three guys moving up, and um, Cazador, he's not going to be able to get back into play. It's going to be settled by the time he gets up here, uh, unless yeah, Independence uh, gets a clue here. They got four dudes, uh, Victor and Finn getting one-to-one, -one, but uh, Victor has a PKP. And um, he was crouched and just fired down on um, Finn's head, so. Oof. Oh, Oof, this is say. so messy. I mean, because they don't have control of this sector in Blue Fort, they still have three guys over here. It looks like they're getting a flanking shot, trying to knock Eagle out. Eagle is able to crawl back in that bush, though. Still getting shot in the ass. Nemesis is coming back. And oh, now I Nutty is firing up at the Blue Fort position. These are not the things you want to be doing right now. What is Nutty shooting at? Yeah, he's shooting off to the to the south. Also, I think Gimme Your Melt died. I don't see him anymore. Uh, so now it's Victor, Frost, and Eagle. It's like a 3v7 right now. Um, no, wait, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's 3v8. Still anyone's Frost game. Up into the building. Yep. I'm One of these guys person, could pull a pretty nasty really double or triple kill, but honestly, Iceberg on the roof with that PKP uh, is going to be a major lockdown point. Uh, 3 minutes, 40 seconds yeah, remaining. Three and a half, yep. Honestly, if Independent were to win some one-on-ones and then force these three blue four guys to pull in, they could be cut out of position and killed. Uh, Kazadar, he's going to barely get into this. Might be able to get behind Independent's forces. Uh, and I'm going to be curious to see if Independent's in this zone, if it'll go into overtime till they are killed. But that's going to mean it's going to be an 11 o'clock round three, so we're probably not going to have 90 people anymore. No. Uh, Especially now with all the Euros. Yep, all the Euros are going to be checking out because it is super duper late for them. It's well, got to be it's, it's got to be tomorrow early. by then. Yeah, the, yeah the, the sun will be coming out early, not not late. Now we just got to make sure that Kazdor doesn't get shot by Nemesis. Frost camping this building out. He has to hear Iceberg moving around on top of him on the roof. Victor crawling in, staying under a tree, but nutty person looking right at his position. If Victor goes a little too far to the right, he'll notice, but oh man, nutty turns away and is not noticing that movement. Victor runs up and throws a grenade by Eagle. That's a smoke grenade, thankfully, but Victor's crawling up on nutty's position and nutty has no idea. Oh! And Victor, Victor gets, gets a kill. good headshot in those first three shots. But now we have Marshall Paradise and Golfer coming in to try to uh, hit the independent guys that are still alive on the rear. Frost coming around on the side. He sees Sirius in the window. Yeah, he sees him. Oh, and knocks right. him out. Wow. Get knocks him out with the arm track. Does he come on two minutes? Yep, but um, Victor unfortunately dies to a grenade and some bullets possibly by Iceberg. It is now 2v like... What? Four, uh, eight, because, um, Kazadar is back in this AO. Ooh. Frost going well, down by Hazadar. So he is Hazard still is useful. Um, I thought he w this would be f uh, finished before he got there, but that 7.62 yeah, rifle, same. you gotta remember, it is... Those things are rigged to be a lot more powerful than the 5.56 rifles, uh, with, oh, uh, cool. FNF's, uh, reconfig mod. So, you know, two, three shots to the chest is all he needs to down Frost. He really needs to go up and get that double tap because Frost could still potentially wake back up. Uh, but yeah, no, he gets is. double tapped. Uh, Cyrus got him, but... Oh, and Fade gets shot in the leg because Cyrus did not properly uh, PID, but it's up to Eagle. Ooh. Eagle is uh, in the open. Yeah, is Nemesis going to spot him? That's a no. That's no offense to Eagle. This is a really bad spot to be in. Uh, yeah, just a little bit bad. I mean, like, he needs in to the see... open. He's got a machine gun. He could do a lot of damage. He's got a, he's got a machine gun. He's got a Nemesis. Life. Nemesis, I'm whispering in your ear. Nemesis. Nemesis is right there. Nemesis, get him. Get him, Nemesis. Get him. Um, Nemesis, shoot him. Nemesis, shoot him. Shoot him, Nemesis. Yes. Sorry, that was loud. Eliminated. Are you okay? <laughs> I was telling Nemesis. I, I, I scrolled up next to him. I started whispering in his ear, and I told him to eliminate him. And Nemesis did. Is that cheating? No, but whatever. Ah! They can't hear me anyway. So yeah, um, 
Independent was going strong in the first AO, caught a lot of blue four guys out of position. Where they lost that numbers advantage was the porta potty. So MVP was the porta potty. Absolutely. Right, uh, let's catch D. Let's go up. Yep.